days away from the women's 100 meters at World Championships 2023. Shelly and Fraser Price, this is unprecedented. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, are you ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, Shelly and Fraser Price in 2022 set the entire world on fire, doing what seemed to have been the impossible. Fraser Price is known for, well, many a first and many, many historic things. In fact, in 2022, Shelly and Fraser Price was beaten only once and for the entire season, if my memory serves me correctly, only once. On two occasions did she run anything above 10.70 seconds. In fact, she ran an astounding seven sub 10.70s, a feat that has never been done. Now, as we approach women's 100 meters, which starts on Saturday, the 19th, the first day of World Championships 2023 in Budapest 2023, Shelly and Fraser Price is, well, poised to do what is unprecedented Now that was a concise look at her incredible 2022 season when of course she walked away with the title of the five-time world champion in women's 100 meters as well as silver medalist in the world's world championships 200 meters in oregon in the united states she just had an incredible year now so far for the 2023 season it has not quite been the same she has only ran Two 100 meters, her fastest race being the first, where she ran 10.82. This is her second race, which took place took place at the Mitrin meeting de Madrid, where she ran 10.83. Egyes pályát érdemes nézni, ott a világbajnoki címvédő jelen pillanatban vezet, és hát elég jónak tűnik ez a mozgás, nem lesz itt senki, aki majd megszorongatja. Az időt kell nézni, ez jó futásnak tűnik, 10.83. Tudom, Én 76 ot talán? A lényeg az, hogy én belül itt mondtam, bíztam benne, hogy javulni fog a forma. So Shelly and Fraser Price has the opportunity to do another thing that is unprecedented, become the world champion for a sixth time that over the 100 meters that five times is already crazy but six times would just be absolutely insane however she'll have to get past a few incredible athletes to do this marie Josie talou being one dina asha smith being number two julian alfred from saint lucia number three her friend and compatriot and world lead Sharika Jackson, and of course, the fiercely competitive Shakari Richardson. So, can Shelly and Fra Fra Fraser Price do this? Can she do the unprecedented? Can she become at age 36 the six-time world champion? Now, this of course is my two cents. Of course, it's Shelly and Fraser Price, anything is plausible. What are the odds? Well, they're not as high as they were last year when she ran and won the, her fifth world championship 
title in the women's 100 meters. But she does still stand a chance. It's really hard to assess how fast she can run. Now, we are aware of the fact that she has an injury to her right knee. And she has said in several interviews, we have featured a few of those interviews already, that she's not yet at 100%. But we're not quite sure what would have happened between the meeting day, meeting day Madrid where she ran that 10.83 and now. Currently, she is the third, the fourth fastest in the world for the 2023 season, if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, Sharika Jackson being number one in a time of 10.65 with Shakari Richardson of the United States, number two with a time of 10.71. Marie Jussi Talou uh, with a time of 10.75 in at number four and in at in, in at number three apologies and in at number four is Shelly and Fraser Price with a time of 10.82. So the thing is, as I've said, Shelly and Fraser Price is a winner and she's used to winning. And um I don't think there's been many, many other times when she has stood, she has knelt down um gone into the set position at the world championships in the women's 100 meters and not won. i mean there might have been one occasion i think if my memory serves me correctly so you're talking about someone who's used to winning and we have no idea what would have transpired between her running that 10.83 in madrid and now that was two weeks ago three weeks ago i think if my memory serves me correctly maybe even four weeks and a lot can happen for an athlete of her caliber in the four weeks firstly if she's fully recovered from her injury and back to her old ways, she can be running a sub 10.70. And if she's running a, a sub 10.70, she has a huge chance of actually winning that sixth and, and seemingly unprecedented title. And I think she would also be the oldest woman to win a world championship in the women's 100 meters at age 36. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't think of anyone else who has actually done that at this age. So, it really would be an unprecedented event if she's able to do this. But I know some of you are saying, Lord, Matilda, it's speculation. <laughs> but this is why track and field is interesting. Can she actually do this? Is it possible? In my opinion, if she's fully healed, heck, if she's even 90% healed, there's a high possibility. Because one thing I'm certain of, she'll be running a lot faster than 10.82 if she's at least 80% at World Championships in two days keep it locked here to peter lloyd world we will keep you updated as to what's going on with these events do you think she can become sixth time world champion with all the incredible talent out there number one being her friend and compatriot the unimaginably talented sharika jackson but this of course is my two cents i would absolutely love to hear your thoughts do you, do you think Shelly and Fraser Price could become the unprecedented six-time world champion in women's 100 meters. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, you are royals, you're kings and queens. Bless up!